The digital outputs at the back of the eCorder or the Power Chrome unit can be controlled using, using the Event Manager. This can be downloaded from the EDAC website. If you click on Support, Software Downloads, Chart Extensions, and the Event Manager is here. You'll need to log in to uh, be able to download this. You should download the Event Manager and the PDF Manual and then install it into the chart software. When you've installed the event manager, you'll find it in Setup, Event Manager here. You have to create a new event, and it can be monitoring the level, the voltage, a timed, a recording, or a master alarm. I'm going to monitor a level, and I'm going to call it above 5 volts. It's going to be monitoring channel 1. And if it sees it going above 5 volts, it's going to trigger. If you click here, it will be below 5 volts. This is above 5 volts, so it triggers here on the green and stops here on the red. So this is the event it's monitoring, and you can ask it to do actions. So at the start, a new action. It can add a comment to your chart. It can play a macro if you set up uh, here before. A digital output, this is for controlling the digital output at the back of the eCorder or Power Chrome unit. And it can play a sound. I'm going to get it to control the digital output. And the name, digital output 1, on. So at the start of the event, it's going to turn on the digital output 1. At the end of the event here, a new action, digital output, I'm going to call this digital output 1 off. So at the end of the event, it's going to turn digital 1 off. I'm also going to show the monitor window down here so we can see what's going on. This is the monitor window here. For this I only need to see one channel. When I click start, you can see as long as it stays at zero volts, it doesn't go by five. We're still in the green here. If I apply a voltage which is above five volts, you can see it's it turned red. So when it's above five volt it turns red. And when it goes below five volts, it says yellow to to say that it's triggered. If I click stop, I can click here to reset, start again, so it stays green up until it goes 5 volts, and afterwards it's still yellow here to show that it's triggered. There are some other options you have in here, so if you don't need to see the long name, you can unclick this. So it's just a shorter name. There's more information about the digital outputs in the eCorder manual. On page 18, this pin map describes the pin numbers. So we were asking for a digital output from output 1. So of course this pin number 8 and this pin number 15 would be where the voltage is applied. And then there's more information about the event manager in the PDF that you can download from the EDAC website. This describes setting up the digital outputs, and down here it describes how the lights turn green, yellow, and red.